Hey guys, uh, we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about your the base of your golf swing, where you position your feet, and how it relates to creating a spiral. So uh, JH brought up a really good comment on the channel talking about the width of the stance, and uh, so we thought we had discussed this and just bring up a few things, bring a few things to your attention. Uh, he mentioned the player Bobby Jones and. He was a player that had a, a fairly narrow stance compared to uh, tour standards. And um, I think that's one of the things that made him a really good player. Uh, if you look at uh, Jim Furyk, he's a player that has a really narrow stance. That is, uh, he's one of the all-time money leaders. He's right up there on the top of the list. Um, so there are two very different types of swings, but they create a spiral with a narrow stance. And um, when it comes to Bobby Jones, if you notice him, uh, you can you can see his pelvis just really go this direction, open up in his shoulders. In fact, he can he can spiral so much in this direction that he would go across the line. But he did this in perfect balance, and uh, I have no issues with getting across the line in the golf swing if you're in perfect balance. But most of the swings you see like that, they're not in balance when they do it. And that's, the t that's when I have an issue with it. But he's a perfect example of somebody that knows how to use the spiral to his advantage. And that's, why, that's what made him great. I have absolutely no doubt about that. Um, if you notice, he would spiral this knee. It would come in. And there, there's a wall. I talk about the door frame here. He would be right up against that door frame. Okay, I, that's one of the things that I've, I've worked on in my swing. I try to have that right there, that look inside the door frame. And what that does, that gets your pelvis back. It gets it opened up and your shoulders open up in that spiral. And from this, from this way, they'll, look, they'll be closed from this direction. You'll see the bottom in, the, in your back in that position and you're just working from the inside like that. Um, so, I think that's what made him really good, being able to do that. Um, if you notice, you put your feet together, you can spiral. You can go, you have a ton of mobility when you do this. The problem with this is you're going to compromise balance. So in a, a swing that requires a lot of velocity, that's not a good idea to do that because you're going to be out of balance. Now these little short, short game shots and 50, 60 yard shots, I, I do it all the time. My feet will be a little bit more narrow and I swing that away. That's perfectly acceptable because I'm not creating a ton of velocity. On the flip side of that, a wide stance, immediately you feel balanced and stable. But an example of a player that has the best of both worlds, you, you take Roy McIlroy, when he's hitting his driver, his feet are wide, but he can spiral. It's unreal how much he can spiral with such a wide stance. So he gets the most of best of both worlds. He has a uh, superior balance along with a superior spiral. But the vast majority of people will never be able to do that. He's, he's a special gifted individual. Um, so you have to find some type of compromise where you can get the best of both worlds. For me, it comes down to my feet just being sli slightly outside of my hips and I can make that, that coil. Um, Back to the wide stance though. Let's use some observational skills. This is why a lot of people have trouble when they first start channel lock. Take a rear ball position, I get a wide stance. My, my mass has moved too far forward. And I'm too far forward in front of the ball, I'm gonna have a steeper swing and the ball is gonna be lower. And you have guys trying to make a traditional swing and set up uh, for channel lock and it just doesn't work. And they can't figure out why, you know, they automatically write off channel lock saying, you know, it's not very good because of that reason. So you have to shift your mass uh, closer to the ball. So when my feet are this width, I can turn, I go into the ground and my mass starts going towards the trail side. It never gets outside of this hip or this foot. It's right there up against the wall. And when, when you spiral up and then you uh, the spiral starts going in the opposite direction, you will have a massive like rubber band effect where you just spring into the ball. And all this mass comes into the ball and finishes on this side. 
right up the plane on the other side with a spiral. So you, you're not, you're not trying to hit a ball from up here trying to get to it spiraling. You, you already have that spiral and it just uncoils right there like that. And that is so powerful. You just, you have no idea how powerful that is if you do it in the correct fashion. And um, so that's some of the things we're going to be talking about. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, so you, you, you have to find the width in your swing where you're in balance, but you can still make a spiral and you're, you're going to be here at this trail axis back here. You, you don't have your mass too far forward. And um, so that's just my thoughts and I uh, will catch you next time.